Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and welcome to another episode of The Basics. In this episode, I want to talk about the differences between conventional lighting and LED lighting in the context of stage and theatrical lighting. At the end of this section, I will be giving a demonstration on what we talked about. But before I go to this demonstration, I just want to give you a basic understanding of conventional lighting and LED lighting. I want to give a quick shout out to Tony Hansen, who is a fantastic lighting designer from Technolux, for allowing me to use some of his article in this video. In 2013, Tony published his observations on the differences of conventional and LED in an article called Evil Rubber Ducky or Honesty of LEDs. I will leave a link to the article in the description below. Conventional stage lights use a light bulb to project light using reflectors, lenses, and filters to throw light into a specific area or target. To be able to change these fixtures, you will need to use some sort of filter whether it's a plastic gel filter or a dichroic glass filter to change the color of the light being emitted. Conventional light bulbs normally take electricity and pass it through a metal filament inside the light bulb. When the filament heats up, it starts to glow with red, and then orange, and finally white. This is a full spectrum white and mimics the natural light we see in everyday life. LED stage lights use a combination of red, green, blue, and other colors to create the desired effect. LED uses what is described as digital light. It creates light by passing an electron from the cathode to the anode across the semiconductor diode's junction. And as the electron passes, a photon of light is created. If you want to learn more about this, just go online and search it. LEDs have been around since the 1960s, but the ability to mix colors did not become a reality until 1994 when a practical blue LED was created. Most of you have probably learned about colors in school, like if you mix red and blue, you get a purple, or if you mix red and green, you get an orange or a yellow, and so on. So isn't that what happens with LEDs? I mean, basically, we're mixing red, green, and blue together to create multiple colors. Well basically that's what's happening when you mix these colors on a neutral surface such as white. What happens when you shine an LED light on something that is not a neutral surface? Say a little rubber ducky? Let's find out. So right here I have a standard park camera with an amber gel over it. This filters out other colors in the spectrum and lets the red and some green pass through, thus releasing an amber color. This is a normal LED park camp that can mix red, green, and blue. I'm going to mix these colors together so that I'm able to best match the amber color that is coming out of the conventional light. As you can see, it matches quite well, though it's not perfect. Now watch what happens when I take this ordinary looking rubber ducky and I place it under the lights. When I place it under the conventional lights, you can see that it appears as you would think. Now, let's see what happens when you put this little ducky under the LED light. Do you see the difference? It appears that the LED light has made the ducky into an evil rubber ducky. But why? Shouldn't they look exactly the same? Well, not everything is made of a neutral surface. Take this rubber ducky, for instance. It has a yellow body with a bit of red for the beak to make it orange. This is why the beak appears to be bright and the rest oddly dark red. When the conventional light hits the duck, there is still elements of the color spectrum that come through, which allows the pigment of the object to light up. 
Now I could mix more green into the LED and match the color of the ducky with a conventional white. However, that would change the environment to a green instead of a more natural color. I would really recommend you read the article as it's funny and thought provoking. In conclusion, what I'm trying to get at is LED lights are very capable and powerful. However, they aren't perfect and depending on what you're trying to light, can have a less than desired effect. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you have a specific topic that you would like me to cover in a future episode, please leave it down in the comments below. See you in the next video.